All right, in this video, I'm going to try to figure out how to install the side plate on this rifle. Uh, I already had, went ahead and drilled one hole uh, where I wanted the top bolt to be. So I'm going to kind of just use that, uh, install it just like that, and then I'm going to figure out where, uh, based off of positioning off of this hole, where the next hole is going to be. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that. All right, so like I said, I've already pre-drilled that first hole there. This is just a side plate that I ordered off Track of the Wolf. So this one came without pre-drilled holes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take these lock bolts off. And also just keep in mind if you're trying to take this front lock bolt off and you have the ramrod spring installed, you're not going to be able to pull it out until you remove the ramrod. Alright, put this lock back in. Okay. So for now I'm just going to keep this washer right on top of the side plate there. So that's part way screwed in now. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line right through the center of the hole of the front lock bolt. I realize this isn't the best lead to be using for wood, but I still got a bit of work to do on that. And then I'm just going to draw a line on my side plate exactly where that layer line is. Okay. So now I know where my hole needs to go. Basically right centered in the middle of that line. I'm going to take this back off, and uh, I'm going to use my uh, all here, just find the very center. Pretty much I'm just going to get a, a hole started there. So you can see uh, that's right where I'm going to be drilling. So I'm going to actually drill off camera because um, I only have my hand drill because my power drill died. So it's going to take me a little bit, but I'll be right back when I am done drilling that hole. All right, the hole's been drilled and this is the drill that I used. Basically, I just started with that point that I started with the, this tool here and uh, just Started with a small drill bit size and worked my way all the way up to this one, which I think is the 530 seconds. But that just happens to be the size of my bolts. And uh, when using these drills, it helps or helped me because uh, it wouldn't drill all the way through, so I just use the all to just punch the hole all the way through, and then it was that was able to finish drilling. But anyways, uh, I'm just going to use a fine tooth file here. Just get the rough edges off. Alright, so that's done nice and smooth. Now we'll see if this actually lines up. Yeah, it looks pretty good actually. Let's get that first one in there. And the second one. So I'm going to have to actually open that hole up a little bit more, just slightly forward of the hole. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I widen that hole out a little bit more. I'll see if that one fits a little bit better. Which I think it will. Okay. I don't know that I'm actually going to keep these washers on here. I'm just using them for right now just to keep everything flat. But uh, next I'm going to need to get this thing inletted. I think that looks pretty good. Like I said, I'm going to have to inlet this. So I'm just going to, I'm going to trace the line around it. I know I've seen some people like to just use the chisel right away around it or an X-Acto knife or something. This is actually my first official side plate inletting job, so to say. I did do a practice one on my son's toy gun and that one went a little rough. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is just trace this one and then actually make the cuts inside the line instead of on the line. All right, so I've got that marked. So I'm gonna take this lock plate off and then uh, start chiseling on it. So after I had the line traced, I went ahead and took multiple different sizes of chisels and pretty much just created a back cut as kind of a safety point for uh, my chiseling job. So I traced along the inside of the line all the way around my tracing. Uh, like I said, using different size chisels, whatever happened to fit around the corners and along the straight edges. And making sure that the beveled side was towards the inside of the tracing. I also didn't have a soft hammer, so I just went ahead and used a screwdriver that had a rubber handle on it, and it worked just fine. After I had my back cuts completed all the way around, I went ahead and started chiseling out along the edges and just worked my way around the edges. And then after I was completed with that, I worked my way towards the center. It was pretty tedious. I was trying to make sure that I didn't accidentally cut outside of the carving area. And it helped to use different size chisels, especially going around corners. took a pretty good bit of chiseling and it was very slow going. I'm not the most patient person when it comes to this kind of stuff. So it was really kind of difficult for me to make sure I slowed down and did a good job of it. I probably could have done better, but I was pretty happy with how it actually turned out in the end. So after a good amount of chiseling, I finally got it down to the level where I thought it was close. Once I thought it was close, I went ahead and used some inletting black on the back of the side plate. Inletting black just allows you to see where the high points are, where you're inletting. So I just went ahead and carved out the areas that had inletting black on them, seeing as how those are the high points, and I wanted to get it as flat as possible. After using the inletting black a few times, I finally was happy with where I was at and went ahead and sanded down everything while the side plate was inserted in an attempt to get everything flat and even with itself. I wasn't too worried about getting the brass all scuffed up because I had a plan for that in the future and it was okay if I got uh, some scratches on that. All right well I think that's probably gonna do it. Um, Definitely not completely done yet. I got a little bit more touch up to do around the edges. Um, it's not perfect, but I'm pretty happy with that being my first 
inletting job ever, really. My first official one, anyway. Um, it's got some imperfections, and, you know, it is what it is. I'm pretty happy with it, actually. Um, I think, actually, I'm going to probably get rid of those washers and um, drill down a little bit for the, so the screws can actually fit flush with the, the brass piece here. But that's going to do it for this portion of it. Glad to have that done. Um, yeah, it was pretty tedious, and you know, I, I think it's worth the the effort, though. And, uh, just putting the time into it and stuff. So, pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, still got a lot of work to do on this thing yet, but uh, we're making some progress here. <laughs>